All right, trappers, so today we're gonna to talk about how to use your terrain and how to break up and understand where the animals travel. And for this reference today, we're gonna to use coyotes. All right, so this is your typical Southern Iowa bottom. This is how it is down here, it's hilly. All right, so here is a cornfield with a tree line. There's a drive right there. You look across from there, there's hay and a cedar field, or a cedar tree, pardon me, and a field, okay. So the coyotes up at this top are gonna cross right over here on this side or over on that drive. They're gonna cross over here. Now, it's one of those netted fence. I don't know, uh, you can see the deer trail. There's a deer trail up there I seen, and then they follow the fence and then they jump it. All right, I don't know where the coyotes are traveling right yet because their trail's not beat up too much or where they're getting across the fence, I should say. You can see a trail right here even, okay? But this is where they're crossing up here. So we're just using the train to our advantage to find where the coyotes are crossing. All right, so this is one example. So now I'm gonna walk down the road to my truck. You guys are gonna follow me, I hope. So it's a little walk and I'm fat, so just bear with me. But it's a nice 85 degree summer day and it's not 99 like it was yesterday. So we're gonna go together on this little trip here. Okay, so, but you're seeing the train as we're going down the hill here and all these uh, bales of hay. And you see these beans over here heading towards this bottom. So, sometimes if coyotes across midfield, midway up, right? But those aren't the trails I'm really, I, I'll look for them. But usually what I'm looking for is how they're hunting. And uh, they hunt the same way and travel the same way most of the time. Right, so we're getting down here a little more. There we are. Okay, you see that tree line we're getting close to? All right, well then, and coyotes, they're gonna run each side of this deal. Okay, you see this? You're gonna run this side, and then they'll have one run on the other side. Sometimes more, sometimes right down the middle. All right, so I found the trail down here. The deer will use the same trail sometimes too, so I, I like to run snares in these situations. You can look for an up, a little higher up trail too down here, which is close to the bottom. You know, because sometimes they'll have one run a little lower, one a little higher, but typically down here is where I'm looking for my trail. Pardon the wind, guys, it's just a little breezy this afternoon. Beautiful day though. All right, here we are. Tree, main field. Now usually they'll try to cross right somewhere in here, but you see this tree here, the down tree and the one standing. Okay, well they're kind of looping out around that a little here as well as probably the deer. So you got a trail, it's very faint. It's hard for you guys to see. I can see it more going right through there. Okay, so they're just going around that because of the way they're kind of hunting. They're running the edge of that field there, going around this, and boom. And they may send another coyote down underneath that too, guys, right? And then if they're hunting spread out far enough, they'll have one or two run on that side, right? So then they cross over here. It's a whole nother situation, right? They're still on the same bottom. Also, guys, look up there. Across high too, there's a fence line goes over there. That would be the next spot I look, but hold on, we don't want to pass up this good section here. All right, there's a drive over here. So we got our trail from over here, right? Coming up here, it's gonna head over here. And sometimes I'll find scat, you know, when they're crossing here, they'll stop. Now you're like, oh shoot, that's that fencing you were talking about, that they can't cross. Well, they can or they usually won't or there'll be a duck under but you come over here and it doesn't matter here they're still going to go through this and a matter of fact if it was legal here you could snare them there's a hole right in this fence pretty good size i'll jump right through that run up this center of this and if i had permission trap this right there by them hay bales man i'd put in some sets i'd be setting up high there i'd set up high over yonder where that fence line is so 
anyways guys nice video kind of showing you how what I look for when I come into a new bottom I've never trapped this bottom yet probably will this year but uh, I'm looking down here on each side sometimes I'm looking middle of the field but I'm definitely looking up by those fence lines and, and they like crossing drives I mean they do why not wouldn't you so anyways but I also really like that fence line I ain't just ain't gonna walk real far up there so all right guys quick video walking in or driving in if you catch them right there especially when you learn how to narrow them down where you're pinching down to hope you guys have a good day hope you learned something from this video please like and subscribe i need to get my subscribers up i've been doing this a little over two years i feel like i put out some decent information good footage uh, you know not the best trapper but i sure love doing it so tight chains guys get ready for fall